and the Lucian to aim at death. It's Poppy versus Gragas. <laughs> Poppy, Stephas' presence is the worst against Greg. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I actually think this is a great matchup for Beryl. Yeah, um, Gragas can do some funny I think stuff. Even in this laning phase, I think Poppy should be pretty comfortable. Almost the stun there is deft. Yeah. Okay this. in this trade, but Beryl is just that little bit too tanky. Buckler comes down, and now Deft needing to take a back foot. Beryl picks up his shield as well. Poppy is just uh, its a difficult champion to deal with. Yeah. As there's the body slam. The Gragas has a lot of sustain. Uh, as you can see, they both went for the refillable, of course, but there's that extra bit of poke with the Poppy throwing out her little shieldy thingy. <laughs> yep. By the way, we do have the rules down on the bottom side. Three ways to win. Two kills, kill after sudden death, or they destroy the tower. I think Barrel missed there, has to flash away. Yep. No summoners, and death comes on in, but it was all a bait from <laughs> good old Barrel. And uh, you can see Deft big giggles after that one. And this uh, is these be... 1v1s, so should be able to purchase a bit more. But decides that he does want to get out of here. Barrel to get on in the old taxi maneuver with the heroic charge yeah don't think you're going to be getting many wall stuns with that ability so just using it for mobility is probably a good idea for barrel who's just looking at nicely done yeah this is the problem that steadfast presence just immediately stops the body slam from doing anything deft is going to have to rely on barrels oh. as uh, that barrel not one to be relied upon um, See ya. Yeah, and that's going to deny some minions as well. Oh, Poppy just... She was so good. ridiculously good <laughs> in Gragas especially. For sure. <laughs> All right, Gragas. Oh, maybe Deft is looking for that uh, sudden death win condition. Well, he... Uh, his cask is gone, so... It's going to be a bit difficult. Bit of a long cool down on that one for now. He's being poked down. Yeah, the bucklers constantly being thrown out here by Beryl. But Deft eventually finding some damage here. Remember, decided not to go back, so not going to have quite the items oh, that he was man. looking for. As the Sheen procs, just ridiculous. Heroic charge comes down as Deft just <laughs> going to burn to death. And that is going to be the first win on the table. Remember, guys, it is a best of three. So Beryl does need to do this one. Solo queue. Maybe. Mordekaiser. Oh my goodness, it's a burly boy battle. And you can see the reaction from <laughs> these two players. I don't think it's necessarily as one-sided. I, uh, I don't mind it, of course. It's pretty nice. I like the, uh, the Eye of Sauron yeah, right at the end of that one. Well, Barrow gets himself the shield here, but Deft stacking up the passive and does mean that he will have more consistent damage in this one. Grabs himself the shield and Barrel having to flash. Remember, no flash from Deft as he gets himself into the brush and first blood is so easy for the Mordekaiser. Just stand and smack him and that gets the job done. Yeah, you know, I like the initial advantage. Barrel only just hitting level four. Uh, yeah, Deft is in an even better position, I'd say, than Barrel was in in game number one. Yeah, it does feel that way. And this leeching Leer is perfect in terms of a first buy or just a buy in general for a Mordekaiser. Yeah, you're going to have health, ability power, and Omni Vamp. And that's every single stat that Mordekaiser wants, basically. Yep, it's like, uh, you know, they removed Gunblade, uh -oh. but at least this still exists. As, yep. yeah, all of these Death Grasps are landing as well. The get over here, Death Knight style. Mm -hmm. Working out very, very well. <laughs> or Scorpion style, depending on which one you prefer. Scorpion. Scorpion's your favorite. For me, yeah. that's, your, that's your personal favorite. Okay, yeah, a little bit more OG in my mind. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's very true. I mean, uh, Death Knight's so uh, 2000 and. 10. Yeah. Oh, right. I used to play the uh, Death Knight? I think that came out earlier. No. We're out to the Lich King. Oh, yeah. That's right. Um, but, yeah, I, I was playing that on Sega Genesis. 
my brothers back in <laughs> yeah, I mean, a long time Scorpion ago. Scorpion is absolutely an OG Mortal Kombat character, so uh, I think that um, the inspiration definitely belongs to him as Beryl. Um, not a lot of health belongs to him at this point yeah, in time, as these well, obliterates okay. are coming through. <laughs> Death's grasp for the cleanup, and Daft so, so dominant in game number two. And this decider is starting to get a whole lot more murky. Game number one was so simple for Beryl. That one. Brad, oh, yes. Oh, oh, okay. It's a great matchup. We saw this in Beryl's opening 1v1. It was the brand burning down trees as Jelly could do absolutely nothing uh, against all of that damage. But this is going to be a little bit more up to skill uh, for Beryl in this matchup. It's not like press W and instantly win the matchup. He doesn't have <laughs> for too long. <laughs> Oh, it's a bizarre. How did you know? You've been here longer than me. <laughs> I just, you know, I keep up with the kids. Whoa. Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, I'm glad that you did, because I have no idea. It's deft. Throwing down barrels, and let's see whether barrel's going to be able to land some abilities. The answer at the moment is no, as uh, neither oh. can deft. No one's hit each other with oh. anything yet. Deft lands the first blow. Um... Is, is that why you haven't been doing so well? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's the reason. Yeah. Oh, got it. Must be. Yeah. I leave my eyes, and I'm just terrible at the game. So <laughs> that's my problem. It's Ooh. great stun. That's what we were talking about. You can land that as Deft overshoots the barrel. You can see, though, this is definitely much more evenly matched, although Deft does have the sustain advantage. Mm -hmm. It'll be up to Barrel to keep that pressure on. It does certainly help if you hit more than one ability, though. And Beryl's starting to do that, slowly but surely. Yeah, I think just wait until the Gragas gets near the minions. You can use the new E. Oh, Beryl oh. comes out into the other barrel. That was a score move. He learned that from his former jungler. Deft, a beautiful kill number one in this final. All right, I think we can uh, we can already give him the win here. I crown Deft as the... <laughs> well, just wasn't ready that pure dis display of skill. Let's have a look at it one more time. Oh, it's perfect. Stunning. Got him. the body slam. Yeah. The flash was beautiful. Sidestep the Q. Everything went right. And uh, Beryl almost still killed him. <laughs> so, yeah. That Q had a landed. That would have been a one for one. Even after Deft uh, made everything work so beautifully. Yeah, this isn't over yet, you know? Like, that was one super play out of Deft. And yes, he does have a Luden's Echo here already. But if Beryl begins to land some abilities, then Bran can, you know, if you're not able to put pressure on him and he can just poke you out, then he can be pretty much any champion. So. See if Beryl can continue to land some of these abilities as he has started to. Maybe the pressure is forcing him to be a bit more serious and actually be landing these ones a bit better. Oh, yeah. And uh, he is certainly starting to do a lot of work. Luden's, of course, giving you a bit more damage, but not quite uh, helping out so much for the maneuverability. These barrels do hurt, though, as you can see. Yeah. Luden's uh, problem. That's the flash in from Beryl! The bounces and Deft is definitely dead. Does manage to boop him back, but if uh, the turret isn't in range, then Beryl is absolutely fine. So that's one for one between Beryl and Deft. It all comes down to this next one. Yep. It's a best of three. We're in game three, and now we're currently one to one in kills. So we're already in sudden death. And yeah, just to take a look, he's got the burn going. And Deft is just not expecting it, but he's he's sitting out here with no minions c to cover him, so it's a pretty easy lineup for Beryl, especially because you wouldn't expect the guy that just got killed to do that. Yep. So a great read from Beryl, even down on his luck from the items. He's still able to pick up that kill. Now he's going to go back and buy some items. Yeah. So now we're Mythic versus Mythic, and a cheeky stopwatch as well from Beryl. Stopwatch is actually super valuable when you're brand because you buy time for your dots and ignite to burn the opponent down. I really, really like that purchase. Death now looking for his last back before sudden death will come forward. Yeah, he had a lot of gold, I guess, on the back because he picked up the Night Harvester and the stopwatch. After all of that, 
Might have actually had a bit of gold in his pocket as well, wanting to make sure that that last buy was going to work out. It's Dev taking a bit of hurt here. Gonna have to just drink a bit more, I think. And does do so. But like we were talking about, sudden death, beginning in 30 seconds, so Dev forced to go back home. Beryl should be able to get a cheeky one in beforehand as well after clearing out this wave. Brand pretty good at the old wave clear. And is going to be able to do so, as you can see. So Brand with 900 to spend. And he's ahead by 900 gold himself. So Deft, if he's going to win, <laughs> it's going to be against all odds. Yeah. To quote good old Phil Collins. Double stopwatch. A giant spell picked up for the brand for barrel here and it comes down to this 30 seconds who's going to take the win my money's on barrel here that's a nice amount of poke to start off not to mention a huge health bar 2000 in the bank and deft already taking some poke damage eating through these potions that you can see are still there barrel still with a couple of stacks on his refillable is Deft going to be able to land that sick barrel once again? Barrel this time around knows exactly what's going on, though. Will be able to keep his eye out for it as this fire is closing in. And it's closing in quick. There oh. it is. There's the body slam flash. Barrel not quite underneath the turret. Dodges the barrel with his stopwatch. Deft now with a stopwatch advantage. Doesn't manage to get the flash over the barrel. Oh. And it's Deft that goes into his stasis and wins the 1v1 best of three. But that last game, that was so hype. That was the big one, the third game. And he absolutely made it look easy to Deft. Just able to land his combo there right at the end. Barrel was kind of asking for it, though. He walked up to Deft and said, hey, come at me, bro. And Deft's like, easily, thankfully, here I go. Yeah. And uh, also the stopwatch on the barrel. Oh, it was just a little bit unfortunate in the trade for Barrel. But Deft absolutely deserves this win with his fantastic plays there. Matt.